Nick, great to see you, pal, after a, a busy sort of week. Jacob Murphy said he was feeling juicy on Sunday. Yeah. How are the boys feeling after two wins and ten goals inside two games? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, obviously, you know, big games for us, a uh, key time of the season. And uh, yeah, to come out of two results, two tough games, um, yeah, it's a really good uh, start to a three-game week. We'll come on to that win over Everton in a second, but we have to start. With Tottenham Hotspur at St James's Park, don't we? What was that first 21 minutes like watching on from your position in your penalty area in front of the Gallagher tent? <laughs> yeah, the best best uh, seat in the house, I think. Um, yeah, it was amazing to watch. You know, you, you never think that them kind of things will happen. I know you think maybe go 1 0 up early, 2 0 up, um, and then obviously it's three in eight, nine minutes, you're kind of think you know it's, it's unseen unheard of so certainly in the game that I've ever played in anyway so uh, yeah amazing to be 21 and five, five goals in like you say I mean it was just incredible to see five goals inside 21 minutes you've never played a part in anything like that have you, have you ever experienced anything like that uh -huh. before no I was, I was on Ben Foster's podcast the other day and he was talking about he let in five at City in eight, 18 minutes so we couldn't quite break his record for him unfortunately um but yeah, like I started, like, started like a house on fire, and then yeah, just kind of rolled with it. The scenes on the pitch were incredible. The scenes off it were pretty interesting. I don't know if you've seen this video okay. of the fan with the <laughs> flag. Yeah, I've seen it. Went yeah. a little bit viral. Yeah. What were the thoughts on that specifically, but also just the febrile atmosphere yeah. at St James in that opening half? Yeah. <sighs> Frightening, you know, it was obviously it was a big game uh, when you're this sort of stage of the season, you're playing against teams obviously directly around you, you know, uh, you know Sunday late kickoff, it's, uh, it's, it just is a big game and, uh, you know, they, they always back us, we're off the back of a, you know, a difficult week at Villa um, and, you know, they got right behind us from, you know, from the end of the warm up to the start of the game and, you know, when that energy is in the ground, you really want to capitalise on it, um, kind of build on it and kind of give them something to, you know, grow the atmosphere even more. The away fans weren't bad last <laughs> night either at Goodison they Park. They looked like they had a good night, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, I could see you kind of, all of the team really, just, you know, watching them for a good minute and a half, two mm. minutes at the full-time whistle. What was that like? Yeah, Outstanding, like you, you kind of appreciate you know, what they what they give for the for the team and for the city. You know, Thursday night tra traveling, you know, a lot of miles, a lot of time, a lot of money spent. Um, and you know, it's it's every week of the season. I've had a lot of away games at the minute, um, and I only keep turning up in the numbers and you know turn up and you know make noise for us, give us encouragement. Uh, Obviously, pretty hostile atmosphere for the game last night, and you know they're there backing us, uh, you know, right from the start. In a weird way, was last night's win even more impressive than the Tottenham Hotspur one, given that atmosphere at Goodison Park, given the fact that Everton fighting for their lives. Yeah, different game. Um, always, always a tough place to go. Um, they make it make it really hard, and uh, still a good team. Although they're in obviously a difficult position at the league at the minute, um, still think that you know they've got some really top players in their team. Uh, and yeah, I think we, we kind of got one nil up, ro rode out some tough spells, kind of showed another side to our game maybe. And yeah, and then obviously, um, you know, we're clinical when it mattered. The goals were exceptional, but a lot of the talk is around one assist, Alexander Isaacs. Now, you're normally used to getting smacked around the chops in training yeah, from his, yeah. from his uh, master blasters, can we call them. But yeah. what on earth was that assist like? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, he just, just looked like a free spirit doing what he wanted to do, you know, and, uh, you know, like I say, I've seen it in training a little bit. Um, obviously spent some time injured this season, which was frustrating for him and, and for everyone. Um, but as soon as he kind of looked like he was obviously getting closer and closer to, to being on the pitch and being involved in the match day, I think you could see kind of what a top player, you know, he's going to be for us. and. You know, seen it at Brentford, uh, seen it in you know Tottenham. Obviously, that moment. So, yeah, let's hope he's got a few more moments left this season. What was the better assist, Joe Willock against oh, Tottenham? Oh, you that can't one ask me that. Last night. You can't <laughs> ask me that. Uh, no, I'm not going to answer that. I'll upset someone. <laughs> but yeah, two two 
unbelievable moments in four days that will, will be remembered for a long time. Well, we'll move on. Now you sat on the fence and Thank got you. splinters. Uh, the Champions League naturally is the talk of a tune at the minute. Be honest, is there much chat amongst the players about it? About, you know, qualifying for the Champions League? Maybe amongst you and Longy when you're in the canteen or Who's walking looking the after cat? the cat? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we speak about, obviously, we're an ambitious squad. Uh, ambitious people. And that's our goal now, you know. Maybe at the start of the season, I think we are a bit... Uh, maybe careful about setting goals because we didn't want to limit ourselves and uh, you know we're, we're in this position now I think uh, when you're at this stage of the season you want to have stuff to to aim for and to go for and we've given ourselves you know a great platform to to build on and that, that's where we'll concentrate from from now to the end of the season. What were your earliest and, and best memories of a kid watching Champions League? Well my team's at Switch Town so not a lot you know. Um, <laughs> Obviously, Man United in 99, I think, I wouldn't, wouldn't have been very old, but you kind of would have seen clips of that quite a lot. Um, remember of Zidane's volley, that weren't bad. Um, so, yeah, a few, a few early, early ones. Was it always one of the life goals to play in the Champions League? And now that this is potentially six games away, how real does it feel? Yeah, I think as a footballer, you always want to get yourself to the top level that you can. Um, Obviously, started in non-league, so you know you're not giving too much thought about the Champions League um, and playing for England and stuff like that. So, obviously, now we're here. Like I say, we just want to capitalise on that and um, you know make make sure we get there. That, that's our goal. That's the the way the the club we're all pushing to to get there, and that's what we all want. I think you know you think of what them nights at St James's could be like. You know, it's motivation for everyone. Yeah, I asked Sven about this last week, but how well does a massive club like Newcastle suit a massive competition like the Champions League. Yeah, of course you can um, you can pitch what the Knights would be like, you know. Um, but we've got to make sure we get there and, and make it happen because they're the experiences of players that you know you live for. It'd probably be the perfect way to round off the season for you, obviously, if Newcastle were to make Champions League, which it's been a bit of a, a crazy season. You've become a cult hero. You've been brilliant in between the sticks. How do you kind of reflect upon the season? How would you describe it? Crazy, exhilarating, all of the above? Yeah, really exciting. Um, obviously, like every season, you've got up, ups and downs, I think. Um, I think as a squad, you know, generally have been really consistent, um, maybe not picked up some points where we should have done, but yeah. I think our performance level has been, has been really good and our attitude to that's been really good. Um, and the fact that, you know, when we've maybe should have won games three or four nil and we've ended up drawing one one maybe or nil nil we've not really let that sway us and we've we've concentrated on ourselves and kind of growing as a team and concentrating on our performances because we know if we perform well that the points and the wins will come